Oh my god, it has been three long years since my last YouTube video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me recreate this look. Uh, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with um, Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. If you haven't tried it, do so. It's really nice and light and it sinks into the skin really nicely. And then I'm going to go through and brush through my brow with a spoolie. And then I will start defining my brow with a really thin brow pencil from Maybelline. This is the uh, Brow Ultra Slim in Deep Brown. Just kind of building in that color slowly starting at the base of the brow and working my way through the tail and diffusing that brow towards the front of the brow. My pressure is really light at this point as I like to build color slowly. Then I go through and just kind of brush it through once again, just to make sure nothing got too dark or too saturated in any area. Then I go through with some eyeshadow. I'm using this, the darkest matte brown eyeshadow in the Moonstruck uh, palette from Unique. This is palette number six, and I'm just kind of slowly building up the color. And then I go through and define the brow here with some concealer. I'm using Makeup Revolution in number uh, C7 and just with a really thin concealer brush just to kind of make my brows nice and crisp and defined. And then going through with some eyeshadow primer and this is to make sure your shadow colors um, stick to the lash line. They last longer and the colors show up true to tone. And I'm just kind of dispersing that with a Luxie 250 brush and just kind of um, going back and forth on both eyes there and just kind of getting my lid ready for um, eyeshadow application. And then for eyeshadow, I'm using an all matte palette. This one's from The Balm and all the colors in this particular palette are all matte. I'm going to be using the bottom left four shadow colors. I'm starting with the lightest color in there and just kind of working my way from crease all the way down to lid. Um, I like to work my way with my shadow, especially on the crease, um, starting from the lightest color um, down to the darkest. I kind of build really slowly and just kind of um, blend as I go and define as I go just to kind of blur out any um, harsh lines and just to make sure that the color blends in really nicely and has a smooth transition. Just kind of blending there in the crease. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of the darker color there and just kind of pump it in the outer V there and just kind of drag it towards the lash line and just kind of go up in a invisible beam motion. And then I'm going through with a um, nice shimmery gold champagne color from Wander Beauty. I got this in one of my um, Ipsy bags um, a few months ago. And it's just a really nice shimmery shade and just kind of um, putting that all over the lid. I'm just kind of going back again with a uh, blending brush. This one is a fair brush and it is brush number 35E. And just kind of going through and diffusing everything. And then going through and defining the uh, lash line there. But I'm not making like a really dark um, defined eyeliner or a wing or anything. I'm just kind of um, getting a nice packed dense brush and just kind of smudging everything and um, smoking it out. The brush that I'm using is a MAC 239 and this one's for the Mariah Carey collection, my favorite. And also going through and doing the same thing on the lower lash line, um, applying the liner and smudging it with the brush and then just kind of buffing everything in and marrying all the colors together. Um, the other shimmery shade, I didn't feel like it popped enough, so I went in with the Dose of Color Frankation palette, and I used the um, shimmery shade at the bottom there. And then I'm going through and applying liner on the waterline, top and bottom, just to kind of give a little more definition. And then I'm going through and applying concealer on my lower lash line, just kind of buffing it out with a Real Techniques uh, blender sponge. And um, in no particular, I mean, rhythm there, just kind of buffing it all out and then going through and setting it right away with um, translucent powder and the translucent powder that i'm using is the kat von d and that one is really nice because it's really light and it doesn't have any flashback and i don't bake i j as soon as i put it on immediately i just buff it out and just kind of making sure that um, none of it is on there too harshly or anything so i just keep buffing and keep buffing and then after that, I go through and apply an all-over face powder. This is technically a foundation. Um, this is the um, NC35 from the Studio Fix uh, Plus line from MAC. And it is so nice. If you've never tried a powder that has uh, full coverage or anything and you're looking for one, um, this is your go-to. 
Um, it's really, really good for oily skin types, but if you are on the drier side, it's okay too. It's not super overly dry, just don't overdo it. Um, you can lightly build it up on your skin. After that, I'm going in with a uh, bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using is a Ofra Cosmetics. I got this in my Ipsy subscription a little bit ago, and I really like this color. Um, the color that I'm using is called uh, Versatile Matte. And I'm just kind of going through the hollows of my cheekbones and just giving some definition all around my face and along my um, hollows of my cheek and the perimeter of my face. And then going through with blush on the apples of my cheek and just kind of dispersing that color. This one is another Ipsy find. I love it. I got it. I've gotten this one about two to three times already and I'm just in love with it. They sent me, it's like a duo but i don't think it comes in a duo at the store so i just put a picture there of the one i did find that you can find at the store um for highlight i am going in with charlotte tilbury cream highlighter in um it's hollywood beauty light one that's what it is and this highlighter is amazing if you've never tried it do so it layers beautifully on top of powder typically cream highlights you're not supposed to use on top of powder but for some reason this one works amazing if there's anything from this video that you need to buy it's probably this one um trust me you'll love it i just blend it in with my brush i'm using morphe e56 brush to blend it out and then i'm going through with some eyeshadow i'm using the two darkest browns again with the unique palette number six just to kind of further define the crease and just kind of blend everything in that maybe the translucent powder might have erased or just to kind of bring out some color and definition into my eye again and then i'm just going to finish up the look here just by blending away and then the look wouldn't be complete without false lashes. So here I'm using um, Kiss Lashes. Those are the Full Mink Collection. These are not my favorite, but you know, I used what I had. If I had my choice, I would have used the Ardell Wispies. Those ones are my absolute favorite. A lot of people can agree. Um, the lash glue that I'm using to apply is the Duo Clear and the one with the brush, um, the brush applicator on the end there. And the way I like to put them is apply your lash glue on uh, the band and then just kind of um, let it get tacky for 10 to 15 seconds. Don't put it on right away because then it'll slip and slide everywhere. Um, after that, get your fingers like in a pinching motion or you can use tweezers. I use tweezers. That's my favorite way to apply lashes. And then just kind of start in the center and then just kind of lightly tap or pinch um, as you go in through the outer and inner corners of the eye. And there you go. And just kind of wiggle it with your finger just make sure it's comfortable on your eye and then um, I'm gonna finish up the look or the eye look with some mascara for mascara I'm using the benefit cosmetics um, they're real it's a really good lengthening and volumizing mascara and it doesn't clump or anything also to finish up my lips there I'm going in only with uh, liquid matte lipstick this color is amazing it's like your lips but better and the formula is really comfortable you can reapply and it doesn't get clumpy that's what i absolutely love about this if you haven't tried it try it and then i'm just gonna uh, finish off the face by spritzing some mario badescu facial spray and this one is a green one it's really nice it has a really nice scent and it just kind of sets my makeup beautifully and the price point is amazing as well Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you recreate the look, go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, like it, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if you make the look, just let me know. I would love to see your recreation. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video with me and my little one snuck in the picture too. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Bye.